camera technology, it is moving so fast that it's tough to fight back against more nefarious uses like upskirting and hidden bathroom cameras. And some advocates say what makes this fight even more difficult is that the law doesn't seem to be on their side. Camille Karmali explains committing violent crimes. Mm -hmm. After becoming a victim of upskirting, Sydney Eats decided to take matters into her own hands. This is a growing and scary trend. Launching a website with her friend Richard Truce, one where victims can flag businesses where they may have spotted hidden cameras in bathrooms, change rooms, or even bedrooms. If you feel like you're being recorded, you can re like take a picture of it and put the location and say, this might be a hidden camera. The camera is right in the middle. But technology isn't necessarily on their side. New advancements constantly changing the game. They have audio and good quality video, and you can stream it online. And the cameras are getting more discreet. This charging cube here has a pinhole lens right at the end of it. And believe it or not, this coffee cup has a camera right in the lid. This one films straight ahead because it's meant to be placed in a pocket. Glasses, wall plugs and pens, all hidden cameras. But this spy tech expert believes the tools are still largely used for good. People use cameras that they wear for uh, the type of things like harassment or people bullying at work or problems in the workplace. But the bad is all the Toronto Rape Crisis Centre sees. They've noted an uptick in women coming in with stories of being recorded without their consent. They're fearful that those pictures might be used for something or they're fearful that they don't have control of, over that content. A sexual assault and harassment victim lawyer says the law isn't quite on their side yet. So the landscape really is changing in this area. Uh, courts are pretty slow to catch up with technology. Technology. So it takes a while for some of the um, technological issues to actually become recognized as wrongs in the courts. Leaving it up to these two friends to try and rally victims and push back in numbers. I want people to see me for my mind and not my body. Camille Karamali, Global News.